doing is we're filming a documentary about KCSC. Uh, do you know anything about that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Is it like a, a frat? KCSC started in 1951 um, as part of the speech and drama department. They would broadcast radio dramas. They would do just kind of news things for the students. It was more of a club than anything else. Over the years, it kind of morphed. For a while, it was off the air and never existed or didn't exist. And then um, some students were interested, uh, resurrected it. And then they um, got on part of the, the um, associated students. And uh, it was on FM, and it was one of the craziest, most eclectic radio stations in the North State. And uh, in the late 70s, they lost their frequency because they couldn't afford it. And we made the jump in 1999 to the internet streaming. I like that anybody has the opportunity to go in and get a show, and it's open for them to not only play music that's um, not found on the mainstream stations. We had a lot of different varieties and nothing too pop. It was all like indie rock and shit like that. Um, I think KCSU's great. Matt's done a great job with it this year. I think it's extremely important for local music as well as indie artists and all the bands that they play. I think it's a great opportunity for unsigned and signed bands alike to get some exposure. Yeah, the, a lot of this town has a lot of fucking commercialality to it. Do you have any insight as to why AS is giving them such limited funding? Uh, as part of AS, I don't believe I should be commenting on this. Um, I have a little bit of insight, but um, unfortunately... I swear no one will ever see this. <laughs> no one will ever see this? Okay. Um... I think that it was just uh, a matter of the amount of money and that apparently they there were some people that thought that all of the necessary equipment that they were requesting was unnecessary, um, which is completely not true, and I don't think it's for anyone to judge other than the people at KCSC what kind of equipment that they need. I mean, they're dealing with equipment that's older than the majority of us. I mean, anything that AS can spend their money on to get the students active and, and things they're passionate about is a positive thing, you know, whether it be radio or – I'm an art major, so they fund a lot of uh, art projects and stuff, and I always appreciate that. Seeing no more discussion, all those in favor of approving um, the capital expenditures budget, please signify by raising your hands. Motion carries 8-0-0. Um, so next is... Uh, the specific funding that we got approved for was just $9,000 of improvement money, not just, you know, money to move because we're moving locations, but, you know, this is was made in 1967, and, you know, the computers are seven years old, so it's just to replace that kind of stuff, you know. Move us from a rat nest to a basically a, you know, working facility that works good, but uh, it's just in desperate need of updating. Yeah, the best thing they could do is just listen and uh, come to KCSE events, because, like, uh, they, I mean, every semester we throw two or three concerts. You know, you could be a DJ really easy it's really fun and being a dj means you can come down here and they got a computer to where you can burn cds so you can just burn cds all night you know it's really really cool you know 